Thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers. It's crazy. Um, this is probably gonna be my last Extreme Cheapskate video, just because of the fact that they are so repetitive. It's always a cheap person doesn't want to pay for anything, so they make everyone else's lives difficult. If you have any other shows in mind that you'd like to see, just let me know. I don't know how to describe what this is. It's kind of just all over the place. So I don't know if this is funny. My humor is kind of bad. My name is Roy Haynes and I am an extreme cheapskate. I love my husband Roy, but boy is he cheap as fuck. You'll notice the cherries have no stems on them. Because they are my favorite parts so I eat them off first. My wife and I take turns hiding the credit card. She said putting it in the freezer was taking it too far so now she's making me deal with it. It really isn't that difficult to get out, stupid wife. These are my paper towels that have been used and reused and reused and reused. My great-great-grandfather once used these paper towels. And it's still quite functional, as you see. Although it appears to be dirty, you will see. It is absolutely nothing. All the time, Roy shows how much he cares about me with his words. It's date night, Roy. Again? Isn't he so sweet? He loves me so much. Took you somewhere expensive. Remember, I drove you to the gas station. I can't believe Roy brought me to the movies. I told you what I wanted when I came in. That I wanted uh, popcorn, candy, or a drink or something. Pretty insistent on that, aren't right. you? I can't believe Roy is actually buying me food from here. My lucky day. Popcorn. I hope I don't get sick again like last time. I know this movie theater gives free refills with their popcorn and soft drinks, so I found a few containers in the trash and surprised my loving wife. I have a mobile food business with the hot dog carts. This is my trusty friend here, Mr. Wiener. When I pull out my wiener, that's when the magic happens. Ever since then, I have had no customers. I think some lady on Facebook warned people about me on the neighborhood Facebook page. My husband would haggle anything. I have wanted to divorce him for years, but he says it's too expensive, so I make him buy me shit instead. I want this, but that is expensive. So is a divorce. You ready to be rung up? Yep, we okay. are. Um, excuse me. Just want to talk to you a little bit about the prices. Certainly. You know. Don't start something, or I will kick you out. <clears throat> Do we have any wiggle room with this uh this jacket here? Bye bye. It's my 10 year anniversary is coming up and I want to do something special for my wife. But I really don't want to spend a lot of money, so I gave myself a budget of $25. So I bring my good friend Rick along. I met him at the supermarket once and now he calls me his friend. I feel bad for his wife, so I agreed to help him today. It's going to be a great party for $25. I guarantee you we can pull this off. Spoiler alert, he didn't pull it off. Rick really has never shot with me, so he never knew how incredibly annoying I am to shop with. So I'm sure Rick is going to be surprised today. So one of my stops is the party store. Balloons, I got a couple laying around. I can see if I've got something. Clearance? Um, oh, look at here. See, Gary, that's a good Anniversary one. sale. Hey, that's a good one. You sure your wife's going to like that, though? No, it's fine. It's, they're colorful. They do the job. I, that price right there is just a little bit too, too, too high for me there. This is so embarrassing, I want to go home. I'm thinking maybe I should change my phone number so he can't contact me again. What if we did like three-fourths of helium? Are you serious right now? Um, so air is cheaper than helium? Well, no shit, you breathe, it's stupid. Uh, you have any more discontinued or is this this? this well, oh, I, had, I had one more, but it's just a police car, it looks like. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> no, that's cool. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't say anniversary. You don't want no police car Look. on there, do you? It's all about laughter, man. I'm yeah. sure this right here was okay. right a few laughs. Does he care about his wife at all? So I walk into this store very confident, thinking I'm going to get this cake for my wife. Mm -hmm. We have our 10-inch round. It serves between 10 and 15. Um, and that's $29.99. Well, I'm kind of on a budget here. What is your budget? What are you looking to spend? $25. $25, OK. Um, let's see, but we do have... That's for the whole party. The whole party. Have you heard of Walmart? You know, most husbands don't even remember their anniversary. That's what I tell my wife each year so she doesn't pay attention to how awful these parties are. Well, the napkins say 16, but I'm sure we're going to make it to 16 years of blissful marriage. I got the chicken nuggets from a dumpster.
I forgot he knows my email, he kept emailing till I responded. I think he hired the rest of these people off Craigslist. Surprise! You said you would try harder this year. Well guys, I got my divorce. And she came to me and said, hey dad, I'm out of school now, so can I start working for you doing hair? I agreed and... I regret it every day. Our customers never come back. But since she's been here, she's been collecting it. I make my dad save all the hair that he cuts because it actually saves me money. I eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Just kidding, I make people sit on my hair collection. Once you put the hair in it, see, this one, it makes the couch a lot softer. What the fuck, this chick is crazy. The car that I have is perfectly fine. Just sometimes I get pulled over by the police because I got my own grill and it didn't cost me anything and I put it on with these hair ties. The police don't like my side mirrors either but I am cheap so I don't give a fuck. Hairstylist Palin Mathis is hosting a bridal party at her salon in rural Georgia. But before she can host clients, Palin needs products. They want expensive lotions, bits of creams, I actually figured out a way I could scam all these bitch. A lot of salons that I've gone to actually use products that are really for animals. I'm just kidding, I made that up. If your goat starts eating my shoe, I swear to God. I don't know what you're talking about, he's a dog. I told my stupid husband the goat was a dog one time and he still believes it. <laughs> clay kitty litter has the exact same ingredients that you would find in a $200 clay face mask. I wouldn't know though because I would never spend that much money especially on a face mask. What in the world could you use kitty litter for? It'll work perfect for like a face mask. This girl is probably on something. Yeah. Must be a city thing. Bark, 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 bark. Wow, that feels good. Yes. Why the fuck did I pay $500 for this? She didn't even cook the hot dogs.